Hi guys and welcome back. On today's video, we're going to feature the Dragon's Lair Limited Edition 12-inch PlayScale Arcade Machine. We're going to unbox the machine, we'll talk about the features of the machine, go through some gameplay, and we're going to test the external HDMI to plug into a monitor, as well as the USB port and we'll use a PS4 controller. So this should be a lot of fun. So grab a cold beverage and a snack and kick back and enjoy this review. I'm Mike and this is the Ultimate Tech Hub. So one of the first things you're going to notice is the packaging for this game. It's very impressive and very detailed. All the graphics bring you back to 1983. And if you love retro gaming like I do, then you will definitely appreciate the level of detail in the box art. When you first open the box, you'll get a manual and all the accessories, including the charging cable. And they also did a great job with the foam packaging. So the first thing I noticed about this machine is that it's heavy. And what I mean by heavy is it feels solid. It's definitely built to last. And once again, the level of detail on this machine is very impressive. This dragon looks amazing. So let's go ahead and take a look at all the features of the machine. All right, guys, on the back, these are all our buttons and connections. We have our power button, volume up and down. It's just a wheel that goes up and down. Charging port for your charger. And this is the charging indicator light. And these two here are USBs. And this is your HDMI. Also on the bottom, I'm going to show you where the laser disc player is, which is very cool. And here it is. And we'll go ahead and open this up since we're right here. Okay, remote here. Okay, and then uh, open this up and we pull, we'll put this laser disc into there. Go and I'll go ahead and put the disc in there. There we go. Very cool. Yeah, that's a neat feature. Very detailed. I like this too, this box, the cushion in here. Put this back in like this. I'm gonna slide it in. There we go. Now as a collector, you should always keep all of these plastic any of these things, I would keep it all, and I'm gonna put everything back in the box, just in case I wanna sell this someday. It'll come with everything original. Okay, one more thing on the front is the raised letter metal coin door. And this has an extra storage compartment. And the machine has two coin buttons. The one on the right's a menu button, the one on the left is a credit button. And you even get four small replica coins. Pretty cool. And you also get a sticker for the front kicker plate of the machine. However, I'm not going to use this sticker. I want to keep my machine clean. I'll just store this in the compartment. And this black plate can cover up the replicate sign on the coin door. Okay, this is your joystick, left, right, up, and down. The red buttons are the sword buttons. And this is one player and two player. Another cool feature is this marquee up top can be lit or not lit. You can turn it on or off in the menu section. Let's go ahead and turn on the machine, and then we'll check out the menu options. And just a heads up, once you turn the machine on, it takes about 25 seconds before you can go to a menu button or start a game. To access the menu, press the right coin slot. And like I said, the left coin slot adds credits. The bottom. What's cool about this is you have all your menus here. You can go brighter if you'd like. I like it bright. You can do the HDMI audio like Replicade. And you can do unlimited. We'll do unlimited credits. Makes it a little more fun, difficulty. Now we'll keep it on easy. Now press the coin slot on the left and you can add your credits here. Add as many as you want. Okay, let's go ahead and play some Dragon's Lair. Just a word of warning, I'm not very good at this yet. 
And the funny thing is I can remember this part being easy at the arcade. I guess I need to practice. Should have gone forward. Dang it. Oh, here's those ropes again. There we go. I got the hang of it now. Okay, for the last part of this video, we're going to go ahead and test the HDMI and the USB port. Okay, make sure the machine is turned off, and we're going to plug an HDMI cable into the back of the machine. And we'll play the game on the monitor on the left. That monitor is a 1080p, although this will not upscale the video at all. You'll still be playing Dragon's Lair in the original video format. Okay, HDMI, simply plug it into the back, right here, like that. Okay, let's go ahead and turn this on, see if it works. And it works. And like I said before, this is in the original 4-3 aspect ratio. I wasn't sure what to expect when playing this on a larger screen, but this is very impressive. The video quality is great. And what's great about this is it retains that 4-3 aspect ratio, which is true to the retro 80s look. Now the sound coming out is coming from the arcade machine. This monitor does not have speakers. However, if your monitor has speakers, Go into the menu and change the audio from Replicade to HDMI. Alright, so now let's go ahead and plug in a controller. We'll use a PS4 controller and see if we can control this with our PS4. It may not work, but we'll see. So let's look in the back. And we'll go, go ahead and plug that in there. And... You control the action oh, it does work. All right. Oh, dang it. Pretty cool. It's kind of easier to play on the bigger screen. So guys, this is how the HDMI port and the USB port works. And just a heads up, I've tried using the PS4 and an Xbox controller, and both work perfectly. I would recommend playing this game on a bigger screen at first. It's much easier to play on a bigger screen. So guys, you can find this Dragon's Lair mini arcade machine at New Wave Toys. It does seem to be sold out quite often, and you can find this also at Sideshow.com. That's where I got my machine. This machine retails for $119, and for everything you get, and the build quality, and all the extra options, $119 is a great value. And even if your plan is not to play with this, this is still a great collector's item. You can showcase this on a shelf or on a bar. So guys, I'll have links in the description below to where you can buy this mini arcade machine. And New Wave Toys sells different mini arcade machines like Tempest and Asteroids. And I may do a review on those as well. And guys, don't forget to visit my Patreon page, where $2 a month helps keep this channel alive. And of course, every new member gets a personal shout-out from me on my next video. Well guys, we're all done here. And as usual, I want to thank you for watching. And remember, if you like these videos, give a thumbs up and share it. If you love it, hit subscribe to keep this channel alive. Thanks again for watching. In the mysterious caverns below the castle, your odyssey continues against the awesome forces that oppose your efforts.